Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a deep cleaning of my brushes. I'm going to show you how I do it, what I use, and whatnot. And I figured for, um, since I was going to be deep cleaning my brushes, I would go ahead and give this new Real Techniques um, deep cleansing gel a try. I do have multiple different brands of brushes. I have Real Techniques, I have Sigma, I have um, Morphe brushes, I have uh, NARS brushes, pretty much every a, a lot of br different brush brands. And so I figured I'm going to be cleaning it, my brushes, and I figured I would give this a try and see what I think of it. Um, in between my brushes, in between deep cleaning my brushes, I do spot clean with the Cinema Secrets. Um, this stuff works really great. I don't have no complaints about it. Um, I have a big bottle and then I have this little bottle. So usually I will clean, spot clean with these. They work, it works really great. But when I actually have to get down to the nitty gritty, I do clean deep clean my brushes and I do use um, the Johnson & Johnson's and I'm gonna give this one a go. The other thing that I do use is I do use a Sigma matte. I do have the glove. I find this is a lot and then I do dry them with the new Shape and Dry from Sigma. This isn't a Sigma sponsored or even a Real Technique sponsored. I'm just telling you guys how I clean my brushes. You don't necessarily have to go out and get all of these things. I know that these these things are kind of pricey, but um, you know this is what works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I clean some of my brushes. Okay, so I usually wash my brushes with Johnson and Johnson Baby Wash and um, the Baby Moisture Wash. This one I usually um, use this, and I use warm water. I always use warm water. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on warm water. And I'm going to go ahead and wet my mat. And what I do is I put some baby wash on there. And let me get, here is a Sigma E55 brush. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it. And I'm going to start cleaning it. And you can see... It automatically turned the pink soap brown so I actually don't use this as a concealer brush I actually use this actually I'm sorry this one isn't the concealer brush this is the shading brush but I don't use the Sigma um, concealer I actually use that brush for eyeshadow as well so um, see and it's done so let's go ahead and try I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that off because it's kind of dirty or it is dirty let me get all of that off, and then I'm going to actually try. Well, you know what? Here, let me do another another one of the shader brush, because usually it takes me two times to get it clean. And I'm pretty hard. I go pretty hard with my brushes. I'm not gentle with them. I don't want to be doing this on a Friday night, and that's what I usually tend to do. So, yeah, see, it was still a little bit dirty So when I did the second coat. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean it. It was not a lot dirty, but it was definitely a little bit dirty. And now I'm going to try the Real Techniques Deep Cleanser Gel. Um, and let's get another shader brush. So here's one. This is the Morphe F3. And I'm going to, oh, I forgot to wet it. I'm going to go ahead and go away with it. My cat wants to join us. So if you see the, uh, the cat, it's okay. He's part of our family. And just rinse it off. And actually this cleaned it with one use. I don't know if you guys saw, but the water that was coming off, it was clean. So that's actually really good. I like that. Let's do a pencil brush. This one's a small pencil. I got a lot of furry babies. Here's a concealer brush from Sigma. This one actually is the one. I do use this one for concealer. And this one's really super dirty as you can see. Let's go ahead and clean it really good. Move it over here. And oh yeah, you can tell. 
You know when you clean your concealer brushes and the first one, the first time you clean it, you feel it still feels gritty. This actually feels super duper clean. Wow, this is great. I'm liking this. And I'll do one more, which is a face brush. Let me go ahead and wet it. This one's a Sonia Kashak brush. And this is a, I believe, a dual fiber. This is the number 115. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side where it's supposed to for your face. And I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning it. And as you can see, it is definitely cleaning it. The soap is dirty. And again, I'm not going soft with these because I want to get this done and get out of here. I don't want to spend my Friday night doing this all night. Get out all the water. This thing works really, really good. I like this. So I know it's kind of messed up, but it will get it will get back its um, shape once I put it on there. But you can see, look at the dual fibers. The bottom part that's white, the tip of the brush is actually white again, and it hasn't been that white since I bought it. So I'm really liking this. Okay, so this is my dry and shape um, tower. I think I have like a middle size. There is one bigger, but I honestly don't let my brushes go to that extreme where I have to fill this thing up. I just um, usually sit there and do it. Um, so they have these little black, uh, I'm sure there's a zillion reviews already here, but they have some that are smaller, some that are bigger. And what I do is I will take my brush and I will start putting it from the top and I will work it in. To the top and then I actually pull it like this and as soon as it's up enough where if I set it down I know you probably can't see that but that pretty much once I can set it down and it's not the brush is not gonna take it um, see how it's a little bit higher than the base of it I don't know if you can see this but um, once it's a little bit higher than the base then I'll go ahead and um, leave it like that and there is different sizes like I said there's some bigger some smaller so you're gonna definitely try to get the best size for whatever it is that you're doing because you want to keep it as close as the original shape this is how it looks like um, once you put it on your, your wet brushes once you put it on it does look like this and usually my brushes will be dry by the following day in the morning I it, you always want to put your brushes on uh, one of the little belts that's a little bit bigger. You don't necessarily want to put it on the tightest one because then it's going to not keep the shape of your brushes. In regards to the Real Techniques um, Deep Cleanser, Deep Cleansing Gel, I actually really like this. I found that this was a one-time washing of your brushes and it actually worked really, really well. Um, it was, I believe this is $8.99, let me check. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and let me know, comment down below, let me know what you want to see next. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much, bye. Yeah.